In today's video, we will build an alarm clock with the help of JavaScript. So let's get started. So first of all, I will just add a boilerplate, and then I will add a style tag and also a script tag for CSS and JavaScript. Okay, just like that. And now let's complete the HTML part. So first of all, um, what I will need. let's create a div and i will give it a class of let's say alarm that's so now let's add a p tag inside which i will give it an id of alarm screen and inside this only we will display the remaining time okay the remaining time to set the alarm okay to ring the alarm so i will just give a um, right set alarm here okay. we will change it later when our someone set an alarm now to set an alarm we have to take input from the user for that i will type input and in the type tag there is one tag called date time local this one so i will just select this one and i will show you what it does but first of all let me give it an id also which is set alarm because that is how we will get the value of that alarm now i will need a button to set the alarm okay whenever someone click on the, this button the alarm will be set okay and i will give this set alarm okay so let's see um, how it is looking our alarm all right so let's see and as you can see here um this input right here it is that date time local so if i just click on this a uh, little calendar icon as you can see here you can select any time from me any date and any time these are the hours and these are the minutes okay so this is how we will get our time okay so yes and also one more thing i want to show you this sound effect um this alarm effect okay um so yeah as you can see here this is the sound effect we will use for our alarm all right so so now once our alarm is um ringing okay once our alarm starts playing i want also to show a stop button by what a user can click and stop the alarm so for that the stop button i will just create an button and call it stop and give it an id also called um simply a stop button okay but if i don't want it to display whole time okay as you can see it is right there but i will do the display of this none and yes a display of this none but we will do that later now come to the styling part first of all i will just do the margin zero of all the elements and padding also zero for all the elements okay now i will come i will target the body okay and then i will do the height of this 100 vh to display the grid element and place item center by which all the elements will be centered as you can see here all the elements are now in center okay first of all let me just quickly do the display of that stop button none so i'll just target the stop button i will do display none just like that okay now i will target alarm what is our alarm this thing and it is in class okay so yes i will just do padding of let's say 5 pixel and display of grid and place item center just like that 
um, I have done in our body part okay now I will target oops alarm screen okay and I will do a border radius of let's say 5 pixel and a height of 5 ch it is a unit okay if you don't know width of also 20 ch then a background color let's say aqua a little bit lighter let me just do this one um, I think this this is fine then a margin also of 20 pixel from top button and 0 from x axis a padding of 10 pixel then the same thing display grade place items center let C as you can see here it is just looking perfect okay so yeah I think now we are done all right okay now let's come to the JavaScript part which is the main concept of this video okay <clears throat> all right so first of all as you can see if I just select this this as you can see here the time is displaying here and now what I want is that whenever I click on this set alarm button the remaining time should show here and once the remaining time gets negative okay once the remaining time gets negative the alarm will ring so yes that is the logic we will use so I will just do document dot get element by id and I will say btn whenever someone click on this I will say add event listener click I can also do on click event instead of this okay function and inside this function I will just do after whenever someone click on that alarm set alarm button I will just do that set alarm button the display will that will be block oh sorry not block none okay so style dot display will be none so yeah whenever someone click on that set alarm button the display will be none of this button now what I want is to grab the time from user so how we can do that so I will just create a variable called alarm value and what will it contain it will contain the value of the user input so document dot get element by id and what is our id this thing set alarm okay set alarm dot value and yes this is how we will get the value okay and the value will be in milliseconds so note that the value of this alarm value okay this alarm value will be in milliseconds and now um, I will also do a current time okay current time and I will just do new date yes that's it and now I want if if the alarm time the alarm value okay minus current time is less than zero oops okay is less than zero what will happen 
I will just do create an alert of that um, please enter valid time okay and then after that I will just reload the whole page location dot reload that's it but if now the main logic is coming else if I will just copy this thing else if alarm value minus current time is positive just like that if it is positive what will happen then I will just create a set interval inside this an arrow function okay and this set interval runs after every one second and inside this set interval I will once more time just copy this down and yes display it here and after that I will do document dot get element by id and now I will get the screen element okay this thing alarm screen and now what I will display the inner text will be what back ticks and then ringing alarm okay ringing alarm in what alarm value minus current time dot milliseconds because the time as I have told you the time is in milliseconds okay so yes and now what I want if this thing now again if this thing gets negative okay gets negative now I want the alarm to ring okay oops now I want the alarm to ring so I want document dot get element by id then I will do um, alarm screen the inner text will be just blank ok then now I will play the audio so for that audio I will just do new audio and to grab the audio section let me just quickly do this and here it is so yes I will just copy that down and here new audio this dot play alright that's it and then I also want document dot get element by id what uh, the btn okay not the btn the stop button and the display style dot display will be block okay and now I want then add event listener whenever someone click on this button the stop button the whole page will be reloaded okay yes then location oops dot reload and format document and inside of um, instead of here I will just comment this whole down instead of displaying none the stop button here I will do it in JavaScript instead so for that I will just copy this down and here oops here I will just do none and now let's see if our alarm clock is working or not so I will do um, set a time for 11.32 let's say and set an alarm okay 
so nothing happens and the time is not displaying here so let me take a look what is happening now um, i want an another variable called alarm time where i will um, declare the date okay in this date i will do alarm value like this and now i think it will work okay now i think it will work but instead of alarm value i i have to replace alarm time okay from all of this so wherever i have written alarm value i have to write alarm time here also i think here also and yes i think it is now fine and now let's set an alarm so let's say 11:34 and if i just click on set alarm and as you can see here it is working and as you can see here it is just running after every second and after like 30 seconds it will ring so let's wait as yes, 4 3 2 second 1 second and as you can see and as you can hear also the alarm is ringing and now just i want to do stop it so as you can see here the page reloaded and everything get to the original position okay so yes guys this is the video on how to make a simple alarm clock with the help of javascript and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and i hope you learn how to make an alarm clock okay and yes guys that's it for this video i will see you in the next one